My name is Miracle, and I am a junior from Northwest High School. One, two. This piece is called When She Was Five Years Old. A girl is far more responsible for rape than a boy. A girl causes this pain on herself. She was the one who sat at the bar with her tiny yellow dress and sipped a beer that was bigger than her stomach. It wasn't a bar, though, was it? The bar was my kitchen island, and beer was apple juice, and I didn't ask for it. She asked for it. She told me no, but I meant no. I meant no. My yellow dress was a sign of my youth and innocence. Now it's ruined by the hands of you. I can never wear it again because it brings back memories of when. Remember when my hands were on your waist, suddenly asking if you wanted to dance. Your eyes were telling me yes. My eyes were closed. They were not telling you anything. But I was thinking no. My little hands were telling you no. Your mouth said yes. No, my mouth only said yes because I was always told to respect authority and I figured one dance couldn't hurt, right? Wrong. No, you're right. It didn't hurt. You loved every minute of stop. My throat was closing in as you pulled me closer and whispered in my ear that this wouldn't be bad. We would just travel down the hall into a world where I could finally meet my imaginary friend. And we would frolic together without being touched by the hard reality of the world. A world where pain wouldn't touch me, but you lied to me. Pain touched me everywhere. Oh, baby, pleasure touched you everywhere. I could see it on your face. Are you talking about the ones with tears streaming down? Yes, that's the one. Tears of joy filled her eyes as my joy filled hers. Now, now I was appalled. Only now do I know what the meaning of this word is. My five-year-old self only knew that I was scared. And this felt funny, not in the good funny. But admit it, it was funny seeing your face after I spread myself onto the bed. It started on the dance floor and now I'm here in bed with you. No, no. No, it started in my living room and ended with me in my mommy's bed. It used to comfort me, now it reminds me of you, so I never slept with her again. And when I woke up the next morning, I had blood running down my legs. I was so scared. How was I supposed to tell mommy her little girl I grew up so fast? This wasn't my first offense, and it wouldn't be my last. I would hurt plenty of girls after her, hurt plenty before her. Ladies, I'm telling you, no does mean no. It's always more important to respect yourself than to respect authority. She was five, now she's 22. I wish I would have been confident enough to tell someone, but now, but now, I'm telling you. Woo!